Hi, this is Professor Ghulam Siddiq. Uh, this is a case of a 46-year-old gentleman uh, who suffered an attack of severe acute pancreatitis about eight weeks ago. And this was complicated by ARDS and acute kidney injury. He remained on the ventilator for three to four days and uh, then made a slow but uh, steady recovery. On presentation to our surgical uh, outpatients clinic, he had the complaints of low-grade uh, ongoing fever, nausea, and there was significant postprandial uh, abdominal pain. A CT scan was performed, uh, which uh, confirmed significant uh, pancreatic and peripancreatic necrosis, particularly around the tail of pancreas and part of the body of the pancreas was necrosed as well. The CT also confirmed uh, multiple uh, calculi in the gallbladder. He was booked for laparoscopic cholecystectomy and laparoscopic pancreatic necrosectomy. Diagnostic uh, laparoscopy was performed and uh, this revealed some purulent fluid, particularly in the right uh, subphrenic and subhepatic area. This was aspirated and a sample sent for culture and sensitivity. Laparoscopic cholecystectomy was then performed in the usual fashion. The gallbladder was aspirated and uh, all the adhesions, particularly between the Hartman's pouch and the lateral aspect of the second part of the duodenum were released. Callus triangle was then dissected out. Cystic duct and cystic artery were clipped and divided and gallbladder was then dissected off the liver bed. Hemostasis was secured. The gallbladder was left in the right subphrenic space and was retrieved later on with the necrosectomy specimen. After performing the uh, cholecystectomy, I moved to in between the patient's legs and the omentum was pushed above the transverse colon. The root of the transverse mesocolon was thus exposed and areas of inflammation were obvious in the midline. Dissection was started from here and this was the area over the 
head and neck of the pancreas. The metal colic vessels were encountered earlier uh, in the dissection and these were preserved all the visible peripancreatic and pancreatic necrotic tissue was retrieved bit by bit using combination of blunt dissection, suction and irrigation. The cavity was then further enlarged to have good access to the lesser sac as maximum necrosis and fluid was in the region of the tail of the pancreas. Dissection was thus gradually carried towards the splenic hilum And here again, the area of extensive involvement by the necrosis was encountered. All the pancreatic and peripancreatic necrotic tissue up to the splenic hilum was thus removed. Of course, one has to be careful about the major blood vessels in the lesser sac, but at the same time, first loop of the jejunum is al almost always adherent to the necrotic area at the base of the transverse mesocolon. And uh, injury to this part of the small bowel could be catastrophic. Once the necrosectomy is completed, the cavity is then irrigated with, with plenty of normal saline and the retrieved necrotic material is then removed from the peritoneal cavity using, a, using an endobag.
the gallbladder was then retrieved along with the same specimen. Peritoneal cavity was then irrigated and two tube drains were placed in the lesser sac. Thanks for watching. It needs other.